Mitch is one of a, a handful of people in optometry who've had a leadership role in pivotal clinical trials, including the correction of myopia evaluation trial, the convergence insufficiency treatment trial, and numerous pedic protocols. He started his career as a, an optometric educator, and he made himself into a high-powered researcher. I never had formal training as a researcher. So when we at Salis University developed the PhD program that we have now, I said, you know what, I'm doing this research anyway, why don't I just do it? So I graduated in 2016, it was a four-year project. I actually ended up getting my PhD and my Medicare card in the same year. Not only did he get a PhD, he also is moving into a whole new area of research, which is looking at convergence and sufficiency in patients who have concussion. Mitch and I met about five years ago, and I actually approached him so I could learn more about the clinical problems that are really relevant in the field. And as we got to know each other, he actually wanted to learn more and more about how to do eye movement recording and how to do quantitative measurements on different types of patients. We're using objective eye movement recording, where we can look at vergence, accommodation, inversional eye movements, and we can see things that you really can't see as a clinician. Mitch walks the walk. He works just as hard as everybody else, and in fact, often harder than everybody else. And so he's just not a delegator who says, do this, do that, because I'm the guy in charge. He works really hard, and he's a really good role model. We've seen Mitch in the Oculus Rift, and we've showed him how we can do 3D virtual reality gaming, and it's really a blast to work with him. So Mitch has always been uh, the most encouraging person uh, looking at our work and say, oh, this is wonderful that what you guys are doing is uh, really a breakthrough, and um, we don't get that too much from other people. Really no one has done more to advance the field of binocular vision than Mitch. He's led the biggest studies. He's authored or co-authored the most read textbooks. He's taught thousands of optometry students about binocular vision. The field wouldn't be where it is now without his efforts. In my mind, Mitch has been the most influential person in terms of contemporary binocular vision field and that's not only because of the work he's done with the convergence insufficiency treatment trials, but also because of the writing that he's done and specifically the two textbooks that he's authored, one on vision therapy and one on visual information processing. So he's been an inspiration to a lot of people, myself included. And you know, when it comes down to it, I mean, if someone says, who's the man? I mean, Mitch is the man. He's the man when it comes to binocular vision. Most important, he's a very good person. He's a mensch from every aspect. He's hardworking, he's thoughtful, he's careful, and when Mitch says he will do something, he does it. He really is a, uh, a giant in binocular vision and we're all incredibly grateful for his leadership, his continued hard work, and we look forward to many more years of the same. <laughs>